So, I'm not entirely sure why I sat down to watch this film this morning. But nevertheless, here I am with my view of Samaritan. Samaritan. So, according to IMDb, the plot synopsis for Samaritan is a young boy learns that a superhero is thought to have gone missing after an epic battle 20 years ago may in fact still be around. And that's basically the plot of Samaritan. And oh my god, this film was rubbish. It was terrible. And I don't know why I watched it. I really didn't. I just, I was so disappointed by it. Like, I thought it could be a bit of fun. And then about an hour into the film, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, I couldn't believe how dull it was, how cliched it was, how generic it felt, and just how tedious it was to get through. I really, really struggled to get through this movie. That's not an over, you know, graduation or anything like that. That's not me hyperbolizing my experience watching this movie. I really, really struggled to get through it because... It's just so dull and it's so cliche and we've seen everything in this movie before in other comic book movies or in other super movies. Whether it's James Gunn Super, whether it's, you know, Shazam, whether it's most super movies ever made. I don't know why I chose those two in particular, but those ones that came to mind, I suppose, when I was watching Samaritan this morning. I was kind of like, oh, so that's kind of like that. Oh, that's kind of like that. Oh, that's kind of like that. Oh, I've seen this before. 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 That's what it kind of felt like when I was watching this film. I just, that kept happening at the start I was kind of like oh that's kind of fun they're kind of like you know doing the same thing that I don't know Shazam did and then about half an hour in I was like okay it's starting to get my nerves now the amount of cliches in the film and then about an hour he's like oh my god this is really really cliched and really really annoying and I know where things are going and I don't care I don't really care about any of the characters and it's just yeah, going back into the fact that it's so cliched, literally, like, the prologue is overdone, it's over the top, it's over complex, like, what is this? It's just, you know, it's really silly the prologue, and then you're jumping 20 years into the future after the prologue, and there's this kid who believes that Samaritan is really still alive, and he's about somewhere, but no one believes him, not even this, like, nerdy, like, journalist who is obsessed with Samaritan. He doesn't believe him as well, but at the same time, this main kid that we follow, who's so obsessed with Samaritan, you know, he's got this mother, this single mother, who's working a dead-end job, who can't afford to pay the rent, but, you know, they have a great relationship. But at the same time, though, because the mother can't afford to pay rent, you get the kid who gets involved in a dodgy gang, and gets involved in some dodgy stuff, and just while this gang is about to hurt him, or wouldn't you know, Sylvester Stallone, who plays the Samaritan in this movie, that's not a spoiler, by the way, because that's basically the premise of the film, Sylvester Stallone comes in there, and saves the day for this kid, and then the kid's like, are you really Mr. Martin? He's like, no, I'm not, but I might be, but no, I'm not, but I might be, but I'm not, but I might be, but it's really annoying. And then, that gang, which the kid, the dodgy gang, which the kid got involved with in the film, would he know that the head of that gang turns out to be the main villain in the movie, and he will start a revolution at one point, like, about half an hour to about 40 minutes into the film, where he's standing up on top of a car going, it's time for us to start a revolution to these group of people in these really dodgy streets in America, I don't really know what's going on, and also as a break-in scene with the main villains, you know, early on the film, because why not? Because we want us to have a break-in scene there, you know, because we're the main villains, and we want to have a bit of fun, but actually it's really boring, because I've seen it done before. And as the film goes on, you start to see that Samaritan and this little kid, who's not the main character of the movie, start to develop a relationship with one another, and like, the Samaritan is training the kid to be like him, it's like, what? And it just goes on and on and on, the cliches in this movie, like, the final fight is so boring, and it's got CGI fire surrounding the main villain and to Sylvester Sloan's, you know, Samaritan, it's just so cliched and so boring and I really, really struggled with that, I really did. It got to the point in the end where I was just like, I can't wait for this film to end. Like, there might be a post credit scene and if there is, so what? I don't care. Like, I just couldn't wait for the film to end and they left the film open for a potential sequel. If there is everyone, then, uh, God, I am going to stay as far away from that as possible. Oh, God, I really am. And also, this is apparently a Prime original. I don't know if they picked it up or whether it was made for Prime Video, but it's. I watched on Prime Video this morning. And the last time I watched on Prime Video was 13 Lives, which is one of my favourite films of the year now. That was such a gripping, intense, and claustrophobic movie, but all just in the best way possible. But then you watch Samaritan, and it's just. <sighs> 
It's a streaming film. That's what it is. It's a film made for streaming. I can't imagine this having a theatrical release and people enjoying it. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to say this when I sat down to this review today. But I actually think this film's in the same part as Morbius. It's another anti-hero superhero film. And I'm like, I don't care about them. We don't just have one just straight up villain. Why do we have to, have to be an anti-hero? Why do be a bit like complex and a bit moody? That's what all these anti-heroes are. With the exception of a couple of them. Like, I suppose Joke is not really... That Joke's a bit of an anti-hero. But with the exception of a couple of anti-heroes in movies, you get most of them, like Morbius and like Venom, are quite moody and quite grown. Blah, 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 until, like, they, until they have to, you know, Unleash their superhero powers. It's like I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. Like Sylvester Stallone isn't awful in the film, but he just kind of seems like he's grooving his way through. Like he doesn't really care, and he's just doing it because why not? He wanted to do a bit of an acting job. And the small kid isn't bad in the film either. And the main villain is played by the guy who played Young Greyjoy in Game of Thrones, and he was great in Game of Thrones, by the way. And he seems to be having quite a bit of fun. Playing the villain in this film as well, and clearly a lot of effort's been put into this movie, but it just all comes across as rubbish, to be honest. It really, really does. I struggled with it, and I didn't care about the plot. Hence why I got the IMD plot synopsis up my phone for the start of this review because I just, I didn't really care about any of this movie. And it's just so cliched that it really lost my interest quickly. It's not the worst film I've seen this year, but it's definitely down there. <laughs> It's just, yeah, it's pretty bad. And so, all in all, I'm going to say that Samaritan, I'm going to say that it's a 2 out of 10. I think even that's been a bit generous, to be honest. Like, it's just so rubbish. It really, really is. And it just, oh god, it should have been better. It should have just been a bit of fun, to be honest. I think this film should have been a bit more self-knowing. And just been a bit more, like, postmodern, maybe. And maybe it's had a bit more fun with this idea. Because I read somewhere, so I don't know if it's true, but I read on the internet that apparently one of the big inspirations for this film was M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable with Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson, which I think is a great movie. I really like that film. But Samaritan, you know, this movie is nothing compared to that film. No, it really isn't. Like, I can see where some of the inspiration is, but it's just, it pales in comparison to Breakable, though. It really, really does. And it's just. <sighs> God. I feel like I wasted my time in this film. I feel like I wasted my time with it. I should have been watching something else instead. I could have rewatched 13 Lives instead. I just. I feel like I wasted my morning watching this huge pile of shit. I really do. I don't usually swear on this channel. I don't usually swear, but it's just, when I watch films like this, it makes me swear. <laughs> you know, because I just get so, so annoyed. I just feel like I watched a huge pile of shit this morning, and I really, I'm really not happy with myself. I'm kind of angry with myself that I felt it was okay to watch this film, because usually I wouldn't. Usually I don't actually watch streaming films when they come out, but I thought I have a bit of time before I go out this morning, and so I'll check out this film, I'll check out Samaritan. Oh god, one of my worst decisions that I've made <laughs> over the year. It's really, really bad. It's cliched, it's boring, it's dull, and it's got some really cheesy one-liners in there as well. There's one scene later on the film where the rest alone character, he gets in this elevator with these group of men who all have guns as well, and he goes, oh, we're all going up, and then he just starts killing with something like that. I'm like, oh, God, some of the dialogue is awful. And also there's one scene in, like, <laughs> You know, in the middle of the movie, where there's like a news report going on, where all the big revolutions have been taking place, and the news report is saying, if only a hero can save us now. And it's like, dear me, when was this made? 2003? It's just rubbish. I should say, if you like the movie, that is fantastic. If you watch this film and you really enjoyed it, that is great. And also, if you're into superhero movies and you feel like checking this out, I would, you know, go ahead. I wouldn't recommend it, but go ahead. You might really, really enjoy it. And if you do, that is fantastic. That's what matters most. But for me, I just, I really, really struggled to get through this film. And that's not me, you know, that's not me over-exaggerating. I really, really struggled to get through this film. And I just, I really couldn't believe how bad it was as well. And how Sylvester Stallone was actually in this film. It just feels 
like it was made for a small budget as well. It feels, <laughs> it feels like it doesn't feel grand or anything like that. And I'm not saying every super movie needs to. You can watch something like James Gunn Super, which I watched not too long ago, and that doesn't have a big budget. That didn't feel like it had a big budget anyway, but it was still a hell of a lot of fun to watch because it was James Gunn. But you know. <laughs> This film had no flavour to it. There was no director's vision in my opinion. It didn't feel like a director's vision. It felt like a, just another generic super movie that they want to get out there because Prime Video kind of want their own superhero world. I don't even know if it was made with Prime Video. Maybe it was put there because the producer of this film watched it and thought, okay, it's really, really bad. Let's put it to Prime Video. They get the point of making. It kind of feels like they're trying to start a new superhero world with this film now. God, I hope they don't. I really hope they don't because I know I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I just can't believe how bad this film was. It was just honestly, it's like you're watching it, and like honestly, I just wanted to fall asleep. It was like every single line and every single scene was so cliche. And I know I'm rambling on, but I just yeah, <laughs> I'm really annoyed with myself that I actually gave time to this film. <sighs> never again, and never again I'm gonna give a film like this a go. Yep, it's terrible. It really is, and yeah. I just... It's so dull, and it's so cliched, that uh, it's just so, so awful. And so, all in all, I'm gonna say that's Martin. I'm gonna say... That is a 2 out of 10 from me. Anyway guys, what do you think of Samaritan? Please you comment down below and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway guys, thank you as always for watching and if you haven't yet, please you click down below and look subscribe on this video and look forward to you many more both film and TVs coming very, very soon on this channel. See you guys again soon, but bye for now. Bye!